Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my Let's Play The Sims 4 Doctor Challenge. And honestly, I am considering canceling this series. Not because I'm not enjoying it, because I am very much enjoying it. However, I feel like there is a lot of exposure out on YouTube for the Doctor series. And I figure, since I'm not really following the family outside of the Doctor series, you guys don't get to experience that. So, here's the plan. If you guys want me to continue the Doctor series, and I can either continue the Doctor series and just go through the motions of the day-to-day -day at the hospital, that's fine. Or I could um, just play the whole game just as if I would play any other Let's Play, and you would see all of the evening activities as well. You guys let me know. Um, if you want me to continue it, you can beg and ask and plead and cry and whine, whatever. Tell me that you want me to, to uh, keep it, and I will. Otherwise, this could be the last episode. Because like I said, I mean, it's there's a lot of people doing different series on the Internet, and I have a lot of other ideas for Let's Plays that I think would be a little bit more interesting. So, yeah, just let me know what, what you want me to do, and I will do whatever you guys decide. But for now, we are going to go ahead and play another day in the life of Jordan Overton, who is our doctor, and Tara Blayton, who is his fiance, his current fiancé, because I did not get them married yet. Um, so we're just going to get him ready to go to work, and follow him to work when he goes. He is a doctor now. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a, a bio sample? We, we kept that? Okie dokie. Um, he is a doctor now, so... Um, he, I guess he's going to be treating patients. He's got to treat three patients um, in order to get a promotion. These two are apparently flirting with one another. And... We'll just see how the day goes. I don't know if as we continue to level Aww. up in the doctor uh, profession, if things will get more interesting. But honestly, it seems like so far it's been Jeez. very re uh, repetitive. Floor, huh? You know, mop the floor, t take a sample of the it's ears, or t look at the ears, look at the um, nose, whatever. It just seems very repetitive. So if it starts to get a little bit more interesting... In this episode, or if you guys decide that you want it, then I will definitely keep it. But um, otherwise, like I said, this is probably going to be the last episode. I really love this house. It's really cute how it's designed. I did not build this house, but it is a cute little house. It's a basically three bedrooms because you've got a room up here that we are not using, a room here that we're using as kind of a little study. The master bedroom with a bathroom here so it's a really cute little house and then the outside of it is is adorable as well let's put the roof up I will have to uh, definitely put this in another one of my games because it is a very cute house not a whole lot of landscaping but you know what you don't need that I think it's I think it's considered a starter home too so I'm not sure. I can't remember what it was that I put in here. I think I just put the bed and, you know, I, I think I purchased the furniture. I think it came with the bathroom and the kitchen fixtures, but nothing else. So it's a very, a very ni nicely laid out house, especially for a small family of, you know, four Sims, you know, parents and two children. So, here we go. Time to go to work. Okay, so Tara's also on her way to work as well. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's get a plan going today because... Are we going to start with a cup of coffee? Okay, <laughs> we'll start with a cup of coffee. That's kind of typical of uh, beginning the work day. So, in the last episode... He seemed like he was all over the place and there was no rhyme or reason to what we were doing. We were just kind of following the the list of things that we had to do over here. And honestly, 
that was getting really boring to me. So we're just going to kind of see how it goes. We're going to, it was getting a little bit more challenging. We weren't quite making it up to the uh, maximum of our daily performance. But you know what? You can't have maximum performance every single day at work. Really. I mean, who does? You, it, it's great to have maximum performance every single day, but you'll burn yourself out. So is he going to chat with his coworker? Yes, he is. Uh, he needs to deliver food to a patient, and he needs to discuss general health also. So let's talk to this child here. Let's do a funny introduction, because children... They uh, they need a little bit of uh, of humor. She does not. Is that a she? Yeah, that's a she. Um. Okay. So she's pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead and examine the patient. And let's uh, actually no. Let's not examine. Oh goodness. Oh, you need to go to the bathroom. Well, come on. You don't need to stand there and. Quit your pants while. What the heck was that? Okay, so go ahead. You dropped. You put your coffee cup on the ground. Okay, drink this and go to the bathroom. Is it really that difficult to go to the bathroom? Now you're energized. Wonderful. All right, so now you have to do the pee pee walk over to the bathroom, which is on the other side of the hospital. I should have been paying attention to that, but I guess that was what happened because we had the coffee. Okay, so then we'll come back and see if we can take take care of these children. We're not going to worry about the adults. He can take care of himself. <laughs> so he's going to go to the bathroom, and then we'll come back over here, and we will... Can we discuss... I don't think that we can discuss general health with this patient because... Oh, we can. We can. Here we go. We'll discuss general health with her. See how she's feeling. She does not seem like she's feeling well at all. She needs some tissues. She's hot. She must have a fever. Maybe we should take her temperature. Yeah, I know. I don't know if that's her normal skin color or if that's just um, what she's the way she's looking because she's feeling feeling ill. All right, you're standing right in my way. I can't see. Okay, let's go ahead and swab her for a sample. Maybe can you show her, her mu show her your muscles? That would be pretty funny. <laughs> she might enjoy that. Hang on, let's see. Can we do that? Enthuse about interest. I don't know. I think you have to be confident to show. Um, let's ask her about school. Because you got to be friendly with the with the kids. Because you know, it's a doctor's office. They don't know what's going on. They're not. Let's uh, let's discuss favorite authors. Oh, you have to scan a patient in the X-ray machine. Okay, can we scan her? Examine patient. Scan body. Let's try that. What is her name anyway? Delaney. Okay, Delaney. Do you want to get X-rayed? Oh, oh no, that's not an X-ray. That's a scan. Oh, <laughs> I guess your heart's okay. <laughs> okay, where's the x-ray machine? Let's see. Uh, I think it might be over here. Yes. Let's, oh, we have to calibrate it first. All right, we're not going to do that right now. Let's deliver food to her in bed, and then we'll have to come and calibrate while she's eating that because apparently nobody's taking care of the equipment around here, and the doctor has to take care of it. Okay. Eat your snack. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. The doctor is going to need to calibrate this equipment because the technicians have not taken care of it. And then we will see if we can scan her with the x-ray machine. This is the x-ray machine, right? Yeah, x-ray scan. Do we get to choose which patient is going to be x-rayed? I'm not sure. Practice bioanalysis and analyze a patient's sample. Well, we can uh, analyze Delaney's sample. We just got her sample. We are really <laughs> not getting much done. But honestly... 
it's a little bit more exciting <laughs> to me at least than just do one thing right after the other okay so let's see can we click on her and say yep refer for an x-ray scan but we need to do the x-ray scan so is that going to be right maybe i don't know we'll see right. okay doctor she's thinking about the doctor Oh, Baroy, Janelle. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna scan you. It's it's not gonna hurt. Come on, can you speed it along, little girl? We've got other things to do around here. She looks like she's jaundiced. She desperately oh. needs some treatment. Poor child. All right, let's hurry up and figure out what's wrong with her so we can treat her. Yes, it's like a fun game. See? Doesn't hurt. Yeah. Now I can see all your body parts. Look at that. Let's see. Just stand still. Don't move. <laughs> okay. Is it... Are we almost done? Yep, I know. It's taking a little bit longer than you think. But when it's done, we're done. There we go. Did we discover anything? Okay. Performed a practice examination on a patient. The test results seem valid, but the specific data is a bit over his head. You're the doctor! And will be passed along to a physician for diagnosis. So we're the doctor, but we're not a physician. Okie dokie. All right. Did you send her back to her bed, or is she just kind of wandering around the hospital aimlessly? Apparently, she's wandering around the hospital aimlessly. <laughs> All right, put her back in her bed. Let's go ahead and transfer her case to an, the other doctor, because apparently we are not doctor enough. Okay, let's see. Transfer the case to him. I am the doctor, right? Oh, I'm a medical assistant. Well, what the heck does this say? Oh, that's the doctor career. I'm such a dope. I'm a medical assistant. No wonder I can't do it. Okay, so apparently I was supposed to calibrate that machine. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I'm getting a little ahead of myself thinking that I'm the doctor. I'm the important person in this hospital and I should not have to be calibrating. But apparently I am not the important person in this hospital. I am a medical assistant. One day soon, I will be the doctor. So, let's see. We have only two hours left before we go home. I seriously do not think we're going to get very far, but we could test her sample. We can probably forward that on to the, the doctor. Uh, we might be able to uh, check her ears when we're done with that. Let's... Let's try that. Let's examine her ears. If this doesn't take forever. Oh, we are testing her sample, right? We didn't really... I don't think that we chose. I think we just... Oh my god. Did he blow up... He blew up the machine! What the heck? Inconclusive. Yeah, it looks inconclusive. You blew up the machine! Do we have an orderly to come over here and clean up this? This is a mess. Alright, you might have to go over there and clean that up. Okay. Um, tested her tissue sample. Jordan has successfully formed a practice exam on a patient. The test results are seem valid, but specific data is a bit over his head. Alright, where are you headed now? It's time to read a book? I don't think so! You think you, you think you deserve a break? I don't know. No, I don't believe so. Let's see. You Oh, you now you should check her eyes. All right, that's long enough of a break. Let's go back over here and check her eyes. Wait, he's probably going to come over and take the patient now. He's looking at her chart. Oh, he just diagnosed her, so now we don't get to test her. All right, let's see. I guess we need to... First, we'll have to come over here and clean this machine. Because, honestly, you leave equipment like that, you you should be... Uh, Jordan? Uh, 
Jordan, are you stuck? What the heck is going on here? Jordan? Hello? Jordan? Jordan is curr currently uh -huh. transporting himself somewhere else. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're not getting very far today. We can extend the work day. But honestly, you know what? I think we extended the workday yesterday, so we are not going to extend the workday today. We are going to just call it a day. You know, you can't always have high performance days. And when you break equipment or dirty something, you should be responsible enough to clean it up. Yes. So you are going to go home in 26 minutes, so you can chat with the doctor. Maybe he'll give you some tips to help you get promoted. But you're going to sit down over there. Do, do you not understand that eye contact is very important? See, he's coming closer. But here you are sitting at the desk. Maybe you... Is he telling you a story? Uh, was that a, like, a flirty story? What the heck was that? Fruk. Oh, now he's focused. There we go. End of the shift. $224. Not his best work, but... Yeah, he, he did an adequate job today. Well, you know, it happens. Okay, so Jordan is coming home. He's feeling kind of flirty. From juicy gossip. That's what made him flirty. All right, are you stuck? Where's your wife? Oh, she's or she's not your wife, really, but she's at work. Uh, so I guess we will go ahead and end the episode here. So again, if you enjoyed this episode and you would really like me to continue this doctor series, please put a comment below and let me know that you would like me to continue it. Otherwise... I may end this series and possibly explore the doctor profession in another Let's Play, but I can't promise it. So, like I said, if you are enjoying this series, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely keep it going because I really am enjoying it. I just think that it might be overdone and maybe if I do continue it, I'm going to also give you some a look into his evening life, you know, with his wife, his soon-to-be wife, Tara, and their potential children. But we would always be following him to work every single day to see how that goes. Tara would kind of be on her own. The kids would be on their own during the day while he's at work. But otherwise, we will follow him through the whole thing. So, again, let me know, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye for now.